today's legal term is amicus brief, and it means a friend of the court. This is a non-party to a proceeding that the court permits to present its views. Tell us a little bit more about this amicus brief. You know, it's an appellate brief that's filed by people that have an interest in what the ongoing case is, but it, they're not really parties to it. So uh, the last time I remember asking the Denver District, or the Colorado District Attorneys to weigh in was when the Colorado Supreme Court was going to rule on a case out of Boulder that basically said DNA wasn't admissible. And so I, I called the prosecutors, the organization, and said, you know, you really need to write a brief to support the fact that this is admissible. And then they were able to file that. The United States Supreme Court often has friends of the court or these kind of briefs filed. So the ACLU will file them in an issue or, you know, maybe the Innocence Project might file one. Uh, the, the organization that represents police chiefs, they would then write a brief to the court. And what it does is it, it gives the court more information than maybe just the parties. The parties sometimes have a very limited view of the overall impact that a decision will have. And so they invite amicus briefs. They invite that. And so they really get to see the whole picture and how this will impact different organizations and different groups of people when they come down with their decision. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Thanks.